You know, when I start packing up for these Ontario trips, the excitement starts to build inside me because I know that I get to experience world-class fishing up in Ontario. And I have a feeling this week is gonna be no different. We're heading to Ritchie Falls Resort, which is located in the Algoma region of Ontario. Talking to the lodge owners, it sounds like the smallmouth fishing is outstanding. We're talking numbers with some opportunity to some real big smallies. If I've got time, I'm gonna go after these big lake trucks they have up there as well. We're getting all packed up, rigged, heading bright and early on our next Ontario experience. Hey, I've been fishing in Ontario for well over 40 years and have some great fishing memories, not to mention some very close friends. Ontario has some of the best multi-species freshwater fishing in the world. Ontario has a special place in my heart. The Ontario Experience captures all of this and more as hosts Troy Linder and Ty Shadeen explore new places, meet some authentic characters, and experience world-class fishing and hunting along the way. The Ontario Experience is the next best thing to going on the adventure yourself. And who knows, this unique show just might give you some ideas for your next fishing or hunting trip. You know, I couldn't have been more excited on my drive up to Ritchie Falls Resort in the Algoma region of Ontario. I had talked with a camp manager and had seen some great photos of big fish on the web. So to say my heart was racing would be an understatement. I was on adrenaline overload from the start, looking forward to my shot at some big lake trout and smallmouth bass. What's better than that? And of course, there's the chance to unwind at the first class lodging with gorgeous surroundings, all around good food, and the amenities of home in each of the deluxe cabins. Ritchie Falls Resort has got it all. They really go out of their way to make you feel right at home. Here we go. Hey, first day at Ritchie Falls Resort. We got in here last night. James and I are going to head out and go after some smallmouth bass fishing. It sounds like there's a ton of smallmouth in this lake. If we get tired of those, we might go after some lake trout a little later on. Absolutely. Let's see what we got out here, huh, James? Absolutely. Let's take Let's off, buddy. There we go. <laughs> I didn't take long, James. Third cast. Small mouth. Oh, no, not long at all. Not a real big one, but these things fight so. For their size, it doesn't matter. As you can tell, they fight as well as any fish does. Well, there we go. First fish at Ritchie Falls. It's a good start. Third cast in. James has got his on him already. <laughs> Again, they get. They're plenty in here, and I think they get bigger, you said? They're oh, probably yeah. three pounds. Yeah, three, four pounds. Uh, they were introduced in the lake uh, about seven years ago. Not really sure how they got here, but they seem to be taking off, and they're not affecting the trout fishery at all. Good cast, good start. Richie Falls Resort. There we go. Oh. <laughs> I think we got, uh, we figured out where they're at there, James. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you can actually see this whole edge is just a rock shelf and it drops right off into deep water. And these smallmouth are sitting right on that inside drop. Boy, they just fight. Oh, these are fun. That's a better one there. Man, look at those things fight. They just absolutely tug. Sweet. Oh, we fell off the lure, right? Or the rip and wrap. Sweet. Again, coming right off that rock shelf. You just absolutely crushed that rip and wrap. What a beautiful fish. They, I mean, they fight like they're five, six pounds. This cold water up here, look at how chunky those things are. Beautiful smallmouth, fun to catch. Let's get her back, get another one. Our, uh, our bass in here are basically feeding on the uh, small lake herring, suckers, and uh, the healthy population of small perch in here. So the uh, color of the lure there matches what they're eating, and that's why they're hammering it pretty hard.
This segment is brought to you by Tourism Northern Ontario. There we go. Oh, fish on. There we go. Oh, right off that deep break. Ooh, Smalley jumped. There we go. That's a better one, James. Boy, I tell you what, it's been a great day. These fish have all been hanging on the shoreline deep breaks. We fished some deep rocks. And it just seems like all these smallmouth are hanging on the, sh the deep drops off the shoreline breaks. This is probably one of the nicer ones we've caught today. We've caught a bunch of them. If you want to come and catch smallmouth after smallmouth, and a lot of them, and they all fight like five, six pounders, Ritchie Falls Resort is a great place to come. Smallmouth and lake trout all in the same area. There we go, <laughs> right by the rock. Wherever there's a good rock, there's a smallmouth out here, it seems like. This is a small one here, I think. Just to flip this one in. Still fun to catch. Look at those things fight, unbelievable. It's cold water, they're just animals. That is cool. Just working the shoreline break, and it's got some really beautiful rocks. Look at this thing, it just won't quit. Beautiful rocks along it. You don't really go on too far because there are so many smallmouth in this lake. Yeah, look at just all this like fat. Every single one, doesn't matter if they're a pound or three pounds or four pounds, they're definitely eating well out here, James. Oh, absolutely. We're actually out fishing, but James has a couple of bear sites that he needs to bait on this lake. So we thought, you know, let's go check it out. It's fun to watch these guys bait because it seems like every location we go to, they bait a little bit different, a little bit unique. So it's kind of fun to see how everybody does it a little different. And typically they're they're all successful. Some are more successful than others, but uh, let's go check out what he's doing. So he's got popcorn in there. What do you got there? Richie Falls secret Richie Falls scent. Special <laughs> scent. Yeah, we spray everything down, popcorn, back out, and uh, our hunter's set for the afternoon. Nice. She's got that baited. It's super cool just to see that part. But if you look up there, real tough to see. They've got that stand hidden really well. Boy, they're doing their job well here at Richie Falls. This is awesome. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's a little better one, I think. You need a net for him? Uh, he's just fighting tough. I don't know if he is tough. <laughs> you do. Let me know. <laughs> Might be a good one here, James. But this lake has uh, definitely got him in here, and I think he might be right. <laughs> Boys, sure fought like he was huge. <laughs> oh, look at that. Fat, and they fight. I thought they was five pounds when hit five, just dug to the bottom. What a beautiful fish, though. Those are pretty fish. And they are strong. Doesn't matter the size, they will give you a fight. Beautiful. There we go. Yeah. Got that one. Fighter. Nice. Oh, a little bit of chunk. Oh, oh, oh catch and release. Maybe not. Catch and release. <laughs> that was an easy release. We're catching so many of them, and sometimes it's nice just to let them flip off and get back in there and catch another one. This segment is brought to you by Go Fish Ontario Canada. It's really hard to beat the beauty of early mornings at Ritchie Falls Resort. Mist rising off the water and then there's the breakfast buffet, which is loaded with all the fuel you'll need for the day on the water and then some. The main lodge is a great place to hang out, shoot a game of pool, listen to someone play guitar, and share the stories of the days on the water.
up since that's where they're at. You know. There we go. Fish. Another one. Yep. This one feels a little better. Boy, they dig, huh? This is a big smallmouth. <laughs> I didn't really see what it was, but the way this thing's fighting, it's a fights like a Laker. Boy, it doesn't matter out here. <laughs> the size of the fish, whether it's a Laker or a smallmouth. Oh, that's a smallmouth. We actually saw a bunch of marks. I thought they were Lakers, but it's actually a nice smallmouth. Look at that thing. Again, fat. It's tough to tell because those Lakers fight just as tough as these smallmouth do. I actually missed one. I had one on. Came up to the surface and he shook me. And I thought, wow, a lake shot shook me. And I put it back down and boy, he wasn't getting off. And boom. Jeez. Tough mouth. Look at that. They're getting bigger, James. They're getting sure bigger. Getting fatter. That's where those nicer ones seem to be hanging out. It was right out in the, the deeps where it just went over this hump. It came up to like 19 feet, went back down, and these smallmouth are just stacked out on that deep hump. Cool fish. Fight like crazy. Good start to the day. That's a nicer fish. There we go. <laughs> yep. Got to keep him down. There's another nice smallmouth. <laughs> I think we figured out where the big smallmouth went. They aren't up in the shallow. They aren't up in the lake, the shoreline breaks. They are out deep. This is a nice smallmouth here. <laughs> if you want to catch big smallmouth, I know where to go. <laughs> Richie Falls Resort, baby. Look at that thing, just dig. Digging like a lake trout. <laughs> they are just stacked out there. Ooh, that's a beauty. Oh, you got him! <laughs> nice job! Like, oh, we lost him! <laughs> now this is what Richie Falls is well known for right here besides the lake trout. Look at that tank! Look at the size of that smallmouth! I've lost like three of them like this. They keep coming up and they throw me. I just got a single hook carrying because we're fishing for lake trout. Look at how fat that thing is. That is a tank. There's a legitimate four, <laughs> four and a half right there. Whoa! That is a dandy fish, buddy. That's nice. I think we got a program for these small. Okay, let's get a quick photo of this one and get her back in. Just keep going over that hump because they are absolutely stacked on these huge smallmouth. They're just loaded. There's a reason for that. These herring are coming into these up on the sh these shallow flats up to like 18, 19, 15 even feet. You can actually see it on the vec on the, the helix. And these smallmouth are coming in and feeding on them. Super fun. Let's get a quick photo and then uh, get this back. Ontario is home to some of the best smallmouth fishing in the world. Whether you're fishing for numbers or size, Ontario's got it all. Hey, here's a question for you. What is Ontario's provincial record for the biggest smallmouth bass? 9.84 pounds, 8 pounds, 8.5 pounds, or 7.75 pounds? We'll give you a moment to think it over and have the answer when we come back. So what is Ontario's provincial record for the biggest smallmouth bass? If you guess 9.84 pounds, you're right. Angler Andy Anderson caught this record breaker on Birch Bark Lake near Kinmount, Ontario on September 26, 1954. Just proves that although the growing season is shorter in Ontario, Plentiful forage and minimal fishing pressure can grow bass near the double-digit mark. Who knows, your next trip to Ontario could produce a record-breaking smallmouth. Well, if the boy will sit that way, we'll find out, though. Oh, Jesus, you see that? Oh, oh. I had my... <laughs> oh. I, I think these uh, fish are aggressive. Yeah. We're only about six feet right now, but I had my bait just dangling, waiting for James to get us in position. <laughs> he did it again. He's catching my fish. They keep falling off my lure, and he's got it, the net ready. So this one, I actually had my bait just dang him over the side of the boat. Try, uh, James was trying to get us in position. We were only we got up in about eight feet of water, but of course smallmouth are up there too. And I hear the splash. Luckily, I had my rod in my hand, and this one <laughs> grabbed 
grabbed it. <laughs> so I think top water, I think, will work too, but uh, that is amazing. Today has been just an awesome smallmouth day. We got them shallow, and now we're getting them deep, and now we've got them on top water, even though this jig really isn't a top water bait. Just, just dangle it over to the top side of the water, James, and they come up and get it. That was, that was super awesome. We get it back and actually try to jig one up this time. There we go. That one didn't lift. That one feels like another nice one to get. Oh, that's a trout. I think this is a trout. We might have our first lake trout. Oh no! <laughs> I stand corrected. I saw it go by. I thought, boy, that looks like a longer fish, but no. It's just another big <laughs> smallmouth. Look at that thing. You know how fat and healthy they are. Every time we drift, I tell James, I go, I bet you we're going to get at least one more on this drift. I had like three or four swing at it. Man, they're just feisty. The bigger ones are definitely in the deeper water right now. We got up in eight feet and we got one of the smaller versions. Go out deeper and this is what you get in big tanks. Here we go. Got a very big one. I think he might have got off. Oh, look oh. at there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what the lake trout are feeding on this yeah, lake. That's what they're eating. That's what they're eating. Perfect. Well, it's a lake, a we're dinner. in the right area then. Yeah, dinner for a lake trout. There we go, oh. right off that big rock. <laughs> I saw that thing come right off Better the rock. Turn my radio cool. off. We don't need that kind of comment. We don't need that commentary. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that thing came right shooting right over that right over that rock when I went over the top of it. I can find lift this one. Look at there. Oh, that was cool. Actually, the first one I got off a deep rock. This thing went uh, had my rip and wrap go right over the top of the rock, and that thing uh, shot straight up. Thing. thing shot straight up out of that rock and just crushed it. It was pretty, pretty cool to see when you got good polarized glasses. You can see all that action underwater. You see your bait absolutely disappear, but that was, that was fun to watch. <laughs> They're just full, full in here. Need a net for him? Oh, I can get him. No. He's just a digger. Anytime you go on these deep humps, these deep little breaks, and it comes up to sh shallow water. These smallmouth are absolutely filled. As you can see right now, it's raining at Ritchie Falls Resort. But you know what? We had a great week of fishing. The smallmouth fishing was through the roof, and we kept it super simple using paddle tails of VMC quarter ounce jigs with a, the four inch boot tail from Big Bite Baits. And we crushed it on that. The other thing I really smacked him on was this rip and wrap from Rapala. Straight retrieve, it was awesome. It, it worked great. And as far as uh, rod reel line, I was using that advanced model eight pound test. This stuff is so awesome. It's got all the properties of a braid. You don't get that stretch, you don't get that memory. I'm using a 2000 uh, R, uh, Revros LT, the light tough version. Uh, I'm using a, a St. Croix medium extra fast rod, a six foot eight. The interesting part was we also went for some lake trout and uh, ended up catching more of the bigger smallmouth. 
And the one thing I did find interesting was I was using a two ounce crippled herring with no bait on and just ripping it for these lake trout and catching a ton of big smallmouth. It was super fun. The other thing I was using is this, just a one ounce, three quarter to one ounce hair jig from Northland with a stinger. And when I was going for the lake trout, when it comes to the rod reel line, I was using 832 braid from Suffix, a 20 pound. Uh, I used a 2500 uh, diode because of that line capacity you want for that deeper water. Again, I was using a medium extra fast rod from St. Croix and it was the ticket for these heavier jigs. No problem handling that. But really it was all about the smallmouth this week.